Hi guys, and um, welcome to this week's live stream. I know we're doing it a little bit earlier, but I had to do this meeting thing in the evening and I just thought there is so much going on in this now that I just really I just really wanted to hear how you guys have been feeling the energy the last couple of weeks and how it feels for you now. And I will, uh, I will share how it feels for me. <laughs> so, hi guys, cool. Hey, life of Bali, I love it. <laughs> so cool. And Paulina, oh, nice to see you all. <laughs> Veronica. So, let me hear. How is this time for you guys? Like, how have you been feeling the energy to the last couple of weeks? Tell me, because for me, for me, it has been really intense, actually. Hi, Louise. <laughs> yes, it was amazingly intense before uh, before the new moon. And Disney's tired emotionally. Honey, you got it. It has been exactly the same for me. It has been as if um, as if there is this collective cloud that just came over energetically and and kind of all life was sucked out or something not in a bad form but but the energy level was very low inside of my body and and emotionally it, it brought me to a place inside where i didn't even know i had it that deep i didn't even know i had so much sadness just laying there and and then for me i don't know if you guys saw it but i got this infection in my face it's a really funny story so I had a headache and I thought, hmm, I don't know what to do about it. So I went home and I literally did like this. And I blowed off my chin so much that behind the ear, I, I made like this um, pressure too much. So, <laughs> so I, I literally uh, overloaded the, the, the thingy behind the ear so much that it got like double size. So we spent this whole night in this hospital, really, really beautiful. Vicky and Peter was there with me and the whole morning and the whole afternoon. And I came home and I, and, I, and I realized that I still had this sadness inside and I, and I didn't know, I didn't know why it was so deep, you know, and, and I didn't know, but how can I get out of fiction in my head? feel so I was just feeling I was feeling into okay what do I have to speak up do I have to be quiet what <laughs> what is going on and just allow those emotions you know so I was crying I was being grateful I was allowing the feelings and being grateful <laughs> so there was really this duality thing it was to just go through yeah, just go through these waves of emotions and and somehow still know that you are not them, you know? For me, it, it really, it was deep, but I was still aware that it's, it's not me. I've been feeling lost, like, like literally lost, just not knowing what's up, not knowing what's down, not knowing if I should go left or go right and I'm not walking anywhere, I'm just sitting still, but still, yet, I don't know, should I go left or should I go right, you know? So, <laughs> what do we do in these moments? And for me and how I feel it is, we just need to surrender to what is. It, Whatever comes up always comes for, for a reason. It always comes because we need to look at it in this now for whatever is to come next. And as fast as we go into it, as fast as we embrace it, as fast as we get through it, as fast as we come back to this feeling of love and peace inside. So, for me it has been linked a lot to the female energy, to the softness, to surrender to the softness, 
to allow whatever old pain or collective pain that may lie within that lie within this whole um, female thing that still are running around with suppression and so on and the most important thing is just it's okay no matter what you feel no matter what you're going through it's okay it's all about surrendering it's to surrendering to the moment a really really good example is I have this Sinanga you put the eye drops in and it's from the Amazon it burns your eyes and it clean to pineal glands and stuff like that but if you put it into the eyes of of people who don't surrender it stays it burns you can literally see how their whole face contraction and for me when I use it I immediately surrender I feel it and I surrender and poof I can open my eyes and, and it's such a good example because it's the same in life if we surrender to the moment, we surrender to the feelings, if we don't have resistance on ourselves, right here, right now, then we become free. Then we realize that we are free. So I'm gonna read what you guys wrote. It's, this goes so fast for me. I really have to get used to this whole um, online stream thingy. Let's see. Hi Lisa, what's very intense? Yes. Hella dizzy, tiredness, emotionally, you got it, honey. Yes, it was all that. A complete blackout. Could not speak or teach. Was so sad. <laughs> Mark, I feel you, brother. I feel you. I'm happy to knock out also. <laughs> it's awesome. It's awesome. We at least we're together in this, right guys? Hi, Hassan. I uh, could not feel people at home, so feel very lonely. And what is even funny too. Still at times sadness. So, yes, maybe this is also collective. Okay, guys, just um, follow me on this one. I feel different. I feel as if the world is splitting up. I feel as if I can no longer enter the old field that I was a part of before, knowing that I'm hitting somewhere new. I'm not yet there, so a part of me feels in between. I'm feeling the pain and the suffering in that feeling of loneliness. Is this resonating with somebody of you? <laughs> I thought so. So everything is shifting at the moment and people, the new awakenings as I call it, stick and wave. <laughs> are waking it up now. They're standing and have to choose between staying where they are or they want to fulfill their awakening. We feel this collectively and so part of us is a part of that. Whatever old pain is linked to that, that is unsolved inside of us, will therefore come to the surface. And if you are part of these new awakening people, then it's up to you. Feel your heart. Ask yourself, what is right for me? Can I go back? Do I want to step back? Or do I just fear heading to what's the new? I don't remember if it was somebody telling me or something I read, but how was it? Maybe it was just inside of my head, actually. <laughs> I don't know. But what I'm trying to say is when we feel pain or we feel uh, frustrated it could be <laughs> it could be because we are ready to develop we're ready to move on but yet we are holding on we're claiming on to the old so the frustration is not about the people the frustration is not about the current situation we are in but the frustration is about we know inside where we're hitting but we are still holding on to the old. There's something inside of us that is so fearful for letting go <laughs> that we choose to stay in this suffering in between instead. I often say to people that come with all their mortgage problems and stuff, say, okay, somehow, just let go and start over. And their face goes like, you know? Because. <laughs> 
we are so used to life being about these practical things. We're so used to life being about what we have collected through the years, what we have built up until now. But the truth is, no matter what we have been building up outside of ourselves, it has no value if you are not whole inside, if you don't feel happy inside, if you don't feel fulfilled inside. So, loved ones, make a choice. What makes you happy? What makes you feel fulfilled? What gives you peace, not only as in the comfort zone, but in your heart? What makes you feel alive? And when you have had that feeling, when you have linked to that within you, ask yourself in whatever you have created until now, whatever you uh, feel letting go of, maybe a home or a country <laughs> sometimes or just people or a work being there in that comfort zone does it give you more than the feeling of the happiness you could link to by going where you wanted to go so I'm gonna keep reading by the way I talk too much no um, hey very interesting intense for me too Lively dreams, feeling time, emotional, no direction. <laughs> Ricky Puffers, I feel you deeply. Hassan love the pyramids and the pyramids love you too. <laughs> it loves all of us. No sad emotion, but tired, lazy, very flat energy. Yes, the energy thing for sure have been collective. Mm. And Mark? Mark, brother, you're not alone, ever, never. <laughs> hey, Jackie, and yes, heavy. Same here, it takes a lot of strength, energy, and you are not alone in that feeling. Donnie, the people are being generated into mass consciousness of fear, they generated freely and uh, this will come global governments what is uh, needed as underground unity I follow what you're saying even though that I don't uh, I don't watch the news I don't watch television and such stuff like that because I know these collective <laughs> fears are going on that they want to control us by fear and and anger and turn us against each other so the, the best thing we can do the best thing we can truly do is being conscious about that being conscious about that they're putting fear out there there it is control systems within this matrix and learn to step out of it i know that we are feeling this collective energy and the fear Poor, i've been so scared the last days like literally afraid of everything and i'm like what's going on <laughs> Normally, I do feel fear, but I've been so shaky, and I thought, I just don't know. And when we, when we become part of this collective energy of fear or massive anger or, or, or heaviness, know that for whatever reason, it is linked to something inside of you. And, and this thing inside of you, give it attention, give it compassion, bring it love love yourself even in these moments I know that I can be so incredibly messy I know I can be so confused and just wandering around like walking into doors daily basis yesterday I was on the running board and I had to dry it off afterwards but I forgot which one I was on so I was driving drying all the other ones you know <laughs> so love yourself in this moment embrace yourself even if you're crying even if you feel wrong even if you are fearful it is okay you're perfect the way you are right here right now it's all okay <laughs> ah, i was reading okay let's see boom 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 ta-da <laughs> 
So happy to hear about you, the energy feeling super intense in me last week. Crazy downloads of energy in Thursday, my nerve system, yeah definitely the nerve system is, it's been working a lot. Um, but you feel very supported by the angels and universe and stuff, great. Exactly, exactly the nerve system, I've been feeling it a lot too and the funny thing is the stability for me by the way. Today I was uh, standing in the gym and I thought, okay, I need to bring some strength back in my body and uh, just did some exercises, nothing, nothing crazy. <laughs> and then I wanted to stand on one leg and do all these things with the, with the other leg above my head and stuff like that. And my stability, my nerve system and stability was so shaking and I was like, okay, <laughs> where did it go? And um, what I realized was, okay, in this now I'm unstable, it's okay. But what I want to do is I just want to bring my awareness into this moment, right here, right now, inside of myself, and just become stable in that blink of an eye where I choose to stand on one leg, to feel that I'm able to do so. So, so literally bring the awareness back within yourself. Um, let's see, now I'm reading again. <laughs> I'm completely exhausted, but finally lost my fear. I'm grateful. Yes, it's cool because we, when we go through fear, and fear is amazing, fear makes us move when we, <laughs> when we don't let it control us. Um, when we when we go through fear it takes energy and we will feel a bit exhausted but just remember the gratefulness and be proud of yourself you did it you did it and you keep doing it you're still here you're still alive you were part of this time and you're doing so well you're just doing so well okay uh, I am loving the energy. It's so intense. The only thing I can do is surrender to it. Justin, yes. Maybe there's something wrong with us because we love it intense, no? <laughs> yes. Um, Echoes, see ya. I love you. I love you too, Anna. Definitely, Estelle. Hello. Uh, yo, sister and Tatiana, I have to take a rest tomorrow. Love you so much. Compose yourself and stay in it. Draw your attention inwards and devour your mind and the self and wisdom of and mm, Yes. Uh, you guys are great with words. Uh, pretty gun, uh, soft, trip trip, he's a little bit like me. I was um, after a week. Connie, just sending you a big smile. <laughs> And uh, hello, strange dreams for me. That's never new. I, I dream weird always, so <laughs> uh, that doesn't really doesn't really shift so much just because of the energy. But I think the main message today is just surrender to the moment and just allow yourself to be hello Lingamak. And just allow yourself to be exactly where you are. Know that it's completely okay. And if there's one day you don't have energy, it's okay. You're gonna have it back. <laughs> but we don't create it by fighting ourselves. Then we stay stuck. If we try to push ourselves from an energy source we don't have, how should we gain it? So stop up. Accept the moment, allow their softness or the waviness and start embracing that feeling inside of you so you regain your energy, so you regain this feeling of worthiness, regain this feeling of strength and then you recreate the energy that you felt you had lost. <laughs> so guys, this is 
this is basically what I wanted to share and thank you all for sharing your part of the story and your part of these crazy weeks and um, yeah let's just do it together right we all have these feelings going on let's just do it together reminding ourselves we're not alone we are collective going through this and everything is love and you are so loved and I keep blabbering about all this love always but it is Alpha Omega in life so that that is all for now and uh, I'm gonna save this thing if I know how to do it right I'm gonna save it on the side so if you have any comments or anything feel free to just put it all on and I will talk with you guys next week doi doi